my name's Yolly and I open stuff and sometimes the stuff is great and sometimes the stuff is a bit naff and today we're opening Paper Gang so it's probably going to be a bit naff but uh, that's not fair is it but it's usually pretty naff. For those of you that just want to get right in this, not listen to me babble on, you don't know who I am, why do you have to listen to what I have to say? You don't, just get right to the unboxing. I will put the timestamp in the description if you would like to hang around then feel free to do so. So uh, Paper Gang is a stationary subscription that can fit through your door every month and every month they collaborate with a different artist or illustrator and give you a box of stationery. Generally it's £15.90 a month or something specific like that uh, but you can look out for deals such as this. I got I think £8 a month for like a year and even then it's not always been worth it to be totally honest um but here we are so yeah i'm trying to trying to see how i feel about this design i don't know how i feel about it it's fine i don't know if it's my vibe i'm not sure maybe i just need to open it instead of looking at the box for so long i will do that okay let's dig in let's do it we have hello stationary lover and we open up and we ignore this bit because it just takes you to a three for two offer and I hate it. So what they have started doing, which I will give them this, I like it, is they've given the wrapping that's actually themed to the box, which is thumbs up from me. Um, I like that. So, oh, oh my, right. Ooh, okay, we've got some quite, uh, colourful, groovy, groovy, groovy vibes going on. Hmm, where to start? Let's start here. Oh, okay. So three. Oh, okay. All right. So we have uh, what I assume is a greeting card. So we have this one. It's pretty funky. We have just double checking they're all plain on the inside, which is good. Plain on the inside is good, means you get to use it for whatever you want. Yeah. So we have three here, which is good. Three is a good number. And yeah, they're all pretty funky. You could definitely use those for any kind of anything as well, really. Yeah, I like those. And then we've got pink envelopes to go with those. Yeah. They're all right, aren't they? Don't mind them. Fine. Cool. We have a notebook. So that's quite a uh, handy size to pop in your bag or whatnot. So this notebook belongs to... And then we have lined paper and about this much of it. Yeah, it's all right that. I don't mind that at all. Cool. Hmm, so far so good. <laughs> I don't mean to sound so surprised. Okay, we have two pens, a bluey one and an orange one. We'll use this. So we have like a thicker nib and ooh, like a little fine liner nib. Hey. Oh, <laughs> it was supposed to say hey. <laughs> I've turned it into hee hee. Quite nice to write with that. And we've got the same but in orange. Let's do hee hee and ha ha. I like nibs like that, big fan. And I wonder if this is more like a brush pen. Hee hee. Yeah, it's good. Ha ha. Hmm. I wonder why they've picked these colours. I guess they're kind of matching-ish. I feel like pink and purple would have made more sense now. Oh well, who am I to judge? A bit of a closer look at those. They're quite nice to write with, to be honest. Yeah, they're quite random colours though. But is that a bad thing? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, are we on the finally? Let's double check. Nothing peeking underneath. So finally... We have, oh, oh no, not finally. 
We have two more things. Okay. Uh, let's do here first. So we have two sheets of stickers, I assume. Yes, stickers. So this one is all the one-eyed birds that we have at the front. Apart from that one, that's two eyes. And this one is a mixture of birds and then a mixture of, I guess, things to decorate cards and whatnot with. It's a bit random. Like it doesn't really, that doesn't really have anything to, I suppose it, I suppose it does because of these. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't mind them. I feel like usually Paper Gang would have given us like two lots of two different designs before. Does anyone else think the same? And then we have this print. Um, I guess maybe that way makes more sense. Yeah, I won't be putting that up. I think my partner says that he likes this sort of vibe, so I'll see if he wants it. Um, that was all right. Let's, let's put everything together. So we've got the print, two sheets of stickers, which as I said before, I feel like that would have been more. Three cards, two pens, one with like a brush tip, one end with a brush tip, one end with like a fine liner and a little notebook. So we kind of have one, two, three, four, five things going on, which is definitely a good amount of things for Paper Gang. Sometimes they just try to give us four and I'm like, I see you. But yeah, it's all right. It is all right. Hmm. Okay, so the cards maybe, let's say we're dropping two pound each on a card. Probably wouldn't have bought three with that design on, but let's say that's two, four, six. I wouldn't pay more than a couple of quid for that. And the pens, yeah. So maybe I do see this as me getting my money's worth this time, maybe. I feel a bit nothing about it though. It's fine. It's definitely not been the worst one, but it's definitely not been the best. It's fine. I think the problem with Paper Gang is I'd naturally moan now. I don't know what, if I know what it feels like to feel positive about a paper gang box anymore. That's the problem when you signed for something for a year, kids. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Please let me know what you think of this box. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing one of those awkward wrap-ups where I'm like, feel like I should say more, but I don't know what to say. Uh, so that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day, wherever you are. Goodbye.